Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering three ways that you can make your life better. Three easy ways that a lot of us overlook every single day and that you can do in your life. Welcome back to my channel, Raising Wellness. My name is Shelby, and I am here to give you guys information about healthy living, conscious lifestyle, minimalism, education, and self-love. If any of that stuff interests you, then don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below and hit the little bell so that you can be alerted every time I make new videos. I come out with a new video every single week for you guys. So I hope that you'll join me on this channel as we grow together and create this community together. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about how to make your life better with three easy ways that you can bring into your life to create the vision that you have in your head of where you want to go, what you want it to feel like, and how you want to be in this life. So it's really important that you make time for what you want to create in this life. And I know we hear that a lot, but we're going to dive a little bit into that in this video so that you can really get to understand what that truly means. And so many of us get stuck in a routine. We wake up, we eat, we go to work, we eat, we come home, we eat, or we go to the gym and then we sleep. You know, we get stuck in that pattern because we feel like that's the most comfortable way to have security in our lives, to be successful in our lives. But in truth, if you aren't fulfilling your goals, not your business's goals, not your boss's goals, not your friends or your family's goals for you or what you feel like you need to do for them, but your specific goals, if you aren't accomplishing those and you aren't fulfilling you aren't fulfilling, if you aren't feeling fulfilled by them, then you're going to get into a space that feels stuck, feels stagnated. And when that happens, that's when we feel like we're in a rut. That's when we feel like we can't get out. That's when we feel overwhelmed or even depressed. And in some of my other videos, I cover more topics about how I came from a passive depression. So I understand what it feels like to be stuck and to be stagnant. And these three things that I'm gonna to give to you guys are rules that I brought into my life and live by so that I have been able to create what I want and to get rid of what I didn't need and get out of that stagnant place. So right now you're asking yourself, what am I making time for each day? And a lot of us think that we're making time for the things that we want in our lives. And these are little things. These are habits that we have. So right now you're allowing yourself time to get up in the morning and go to work. You're allowing yourself time to get up and brush your teeth. You're allowing yourself time to go to school, to go to work, to go to the gym, to go to parties, go to nights out. You're allowing yourself time to take a shower, to surf the web. You're allowing yourself time for poor planning, limiting beliefs things like that, you guys, that we don't even realize that we're doing. So limiting beliefs, excuses, complaints, these are all things that you're allowing yourself to give time to each and every single day. And even when it seems small, like a five second complaint, you're allowing time for that in your life. And a lot of those things that aren't serving you anymore can be altered, they can be replaced, or they can be completely deleted out of your life if they do not serve you. So first and foremost, the number one tip is to make yourself a priority. So what that means is that you need to make time for you. Every single day, make time for you before your spouse, before your boyfriend, before your girlfriend, before your friends, before your family. Make time for you so that you can fill your cup. So if that is reading for 30 minutes, listening to a podcast, if you want to attempt meditation and that makes you feel good, then start meditating. If you want to take your dog for a walk or you like tinkering and fixing things or you like painting if find out what fills you up what makes you feel happy and most in alignment with yourself no matter what it is money aside time aside other people's opinions aside whatever makes you feel happy do that first and foremost make yourself a priority okay you have to become a priority in your life. Otherwise, you're just gonna let all these distractions, all these people, all these opinions, all these complaints infiltrate and distract you from what truly makes you happy first and foremost and from making yourself a priority. So 
What you do each day creates your future. So it's really important to understand that all these habits, all these complaints, all these limiting ideas, all these parties, all these friends, they all compound on each other. And so if you want to be stop complaining in your life, then stop making time for complaining. If you want to feel crazy and unorganized in your life, then keep not planning. But if you want your life to feel clear, feel organized, feel like it's fulfilling you, then you need to make actions and have the mentality to direct yourself in that way. So second, in all things, know your worth. So I know we hear this a lot, know your worth, you are worthy, especially in the self-help, self-love world, but it's really important that each and every one of you know that you are worth this world. And that's not coming from a narcissistic place, that's not coming from a greedy place, that's not coming from a place that is only centered around you, that's coming from a place that treat yourself with your worth and treat others as they deserve the world too. And That's just like how they say, love your neighbor as you love thyself or however it goes. But know your worth, you guys, so that you can operate from a space that's only being directed towards how it's gonna make you feel, how it's gonna make you feel worthy in this world. So if people complaining or people's harsh opinions on Facebook aren't reminding you of how beautiful this world is and how worthy you are of being in a beautiful and wonderful world, then get rid of it out of your life. You really need to become clear and separate yourself from all the things that don't make you feel worthy. Okay, so let this knowing stem from a place of love and understanding that you are worth so much. You are worth so much love. You are worth so much joy. You are worth so much happiness. And let that feeling of being worthy stem from that place rather than a place of desperation or need or greed or narcissism. Know your worth because you are love. Know your worth because you should share love with others. Know your worth so that you can share love with others and treat yourself with love. And the third thing, you guys, is that find space either weekly or monthly to reorganize your life, to um, evaluate your purchases, the people in your life, the social media in your life, to evaluate the thoughts and the habits that you've brought into your life or have been continuing in your life. So every single week or monthly, ask yourself, is this job serving me? Is this purchase serving me? Is this uh, um, person, did I say that maybe? Is this person serving me? Is uh, searching the internet and looking at all this, these Instagram feeds from all these people doing amazing things, is that serving me or is it bringing me into a place of feeling desperate and needy and unworthy? So you have to feel fulfilled, you have to know your worth, you have to understand that this life is worth so much and that you have so much potential to bring to this world, but to make your life better, you have to make yourself a priority, you have to know your worth, and you have to make space for yourself to evaluate the things that you need in your life to feel good, to feel fulfilled, and the things that you don't. And at first, when you start doing this, you might find that you have to cast away a lot of things and delete a lot of things. But that's because it's you're starting fresh and you're starting new, but as you make this a habit, it's gonna become easier, it's gonna become more of a daily habit for you. So you'll cast away less and less things because you'll only be bringing in the things that make you feel happy, that make you feel fulfilled, that allow you to understand and give out your love for this world and for the people in it and for yourself. Eventually, this process of casting away things and evaluating what you're bringing into your life will become habit. And you just have to become a conscious consumer of everything you're bringing into your life. But start small, you guys. Start with your purchases or start with people at work or the people you hang out with outside of work or your relationships. Start somewhere small and build your way up to eventually being able to do this and evaluate your whole life on a broader scale. But what you have to remember is that This is a compound effect, you guys. If you want, what's true for you is true for you. It's not true for everyone. So 
feel worthy, feel like you deserve that vision you want in your life and act in that way with that mentality every single day and it will turn into the vision you want for your life. You just have to do a little bit every single day and if you remember to make yourself a priority, you remember to understand your worth and love yourself and treat others in that same way and then find space to evaluate yourself weekly, monthly, or every single day, then you will create the life you want. You will live a better life. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope that you bring these practices into play with your life. If you need help with them, all of my information is down below. I am a life coach and I love helping people make transformations in their life. So if you wanna reach out to me, you can reach out to me on any of my social media. All the links are down below. My email's down below, my website's down below. And I hope that you guys will drop some comments down below if you have any questions. This is a space for community. This is a space to support each other and raise each other up. So I hope that you can drop some love down below for this community, for yourself, and for the world. And I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.